What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of APTV. If you're new here, go ahead and push that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications and like and comment because I upload here every Thursday. If you aren't new here, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in the car. I am currently leaving a little car repair shop. I decided to do a little bit of adulting today and my brakes have been squeaking and I'm like, I need to go ahead and change my brake pads. I didn't want to, but I went ahead and did it. My dad found me somebody that could change them for me for a good price. So I went and got the brake pads from the dealer and he put them on there for me. He literally did it in under an hour. I want to say under 30 minutes because literally as soon as I dropped it off and sat down, 20 minutes later, my dad was like, okay, he's ready. I'm like, damn, I've never took my car to a car shop and it took that sort of time. So definitely thankful for that. I'm trying to drive onto this oncoming traffic. But yeah, so today I'm gonna be doing a little bit of adulting and you know, taking care of things I should've been taking care of a, um, a while ago. I am gonna spend a little, little bit of my day with one of my younger sisters and Gabrielle and her mom who is cool as hell. And we're probably just gonna be chilling and riding around, running some errands too, but I wanted to videotape. I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. So let me know if this content I'm uploading is boring or you wanna see something else. Like just comment, let me know what you want. Cause I really wanna take your opinions and thoughts into consideration. So I'll catch y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So I'm finally at the gas station. I said to myself, I'm going to put gas in my car finally today. I was a little less than a half a tank. So we're gonna see how much to get it to a full tank. I feel like it's gonna be like 35, maybe $40. <sighs> Adulting sucks. I need a sugar daddy, but hold on. Let me put this gas in my car. One second. Y'all, to fill up my tank that wasn't even completely empty, it was a little less than half a tank. It was $45. Damn near $50 to fill up my goddamn tank that wasn't even completely empty. And it's at $3.93 where I, I'm at. If you're going to Murphy Express, their, their gas is pretty, well, not cheap, but it's the less is amount, the cheapest amount I've seen. Because everywhere else is $4.09 and Oh, we need to do better. This thing seems to change. Okay, let me focus on this road because I'm annoyed right now. <laughs> Hold on. All right, y'all. So as you can see, outfit change. I just wanted to put something else on. Um, right now, I'm currently standing outside of this place called Urban Air. My little sister had a little party that her and her friends put together. We're standing outside. Of course, she forgot her phone, so she went to go back to the car to get it. So now we're about to go inside. I'm about to chill and watch her jumps. Her mama and I just gonna be sitting and hope we get some food. I am a little getting a little hungry. But I'm gonna show y'all what the place looks like on the inside. So give me one second. Alright y'all, I'm on the go-karts, look, you guys. Alright, I'm gonna see if I'm gonna try to uh, videotape it. You might not be able to hear me, but I'm gonna try to videotape it. So give me a second. Hold on. Hmm. 
Hey y'all. I made it home. I'm not turning my TV down. I can clearly see the exhaustion on my face. I cannot believe I've been up since 8.30. I've been out all day. Even though I really didn't do much, it's funny how tired I am. But I'm about to go to bed. I'm about to take this makeup off. Clean my face and take my butt to sleep. It was a long, chilling day. Like I said, I did the adult thing to do. Finally got my brake pads on my car. Filled up my tank. Even though it was a half a tank and it was $45. Ooh, Jesus. And then I spent the rest of the day with my little sister, her friends, and her mom. Which was cool. They had a fun time. And I had a good time in the go-karts. I haven't driven go-karts in a minute, so that was cool. But y'all, those kids out there were different. I was I remember I was standing in the line and these eleven year old boys were like trying to bribe me into and then let them cut me. And they're like, twenty dollars if you let me cut. Then all of a sudden they changed to eleven dollars. And they really gave me their eleven dollars. I was like, I'm not taking this from you. So you guys just wait like everybody else. And they were just talking at me and whatever. These eleven year old boys, y'all, were like just saying cuss words, saying ass and nigga and all. I was like, what? Like, I know kids cuss nowadays, but I do not remember cussing at eleven years old. It times is different. It really is, and that's how you know you're getting old and literally. Things just seem so completely different from when you were kids. Mm -mm, it's crazy. And some of the girls now, like, she couldn't have been more than 13 years old. And they're over here like, who are you dating now? And she's like, oh, I'm not dating him. I'm talking to someone. And they're like, oh, who are you talking to? And they're like, oh, I'm talking to Albert. And they're like, oh, okay, girl, I see you. I see you. You're only 12, 13. Dating where? Where are you going? Where are you like? can't drive like what <laughs> i'll probably have a bedtime like it's so funny now that it really is like now i'm rambling because i'm tired when i get tired i start just talking and i get delirious so i'm about to go to sleep i'll catch y'all in the morning if not i love y'all <laughs> hey y'all it's the next day it's sunday we all had a good night's nice rest Y'all, it's already been a day and it's only one o'clock. When I say this day has just been since from morning to now, since I woke up, it's just been, uh, like, first, if you know anything about it, I know anything, anybody that's probably watching has a credit score and everything like that. And sometimes when you're checking your credit score, well, when I was checking my credit score, I saw a, a charge that has been in collections. I'm like, what the hell is this? And I look and it says it's from some company and I'm like, what? And it, so of course you have the option to dispute a, um, a charge to your credit, something that's um, hurting your credit score. And I disputed it and then they've been, um, they came to a decision and I'm looking at the results and they're like, it's verified as accurate. And I'm like, how? Like, I didn't open this, I didn't, and then the the amount is crazy because I'm like, what? Like, I never even had a personal account with this. So I'm frustrated about that. So I need to call the company about this. Try to dispute it again. But I'm just annoyed because like, what if they keep just saying it's verified and accurate? And I'm like, I don't have that kind of money to pay on something that I did not do. Then, um, I found out today that my a close family friend was in a, a motorcycle accident and is on the ventilator. I was like... Oh my God. And like, he's been in accidents before and he always seems to bounce back. But this one is like very serious because he's on a ventilator. And it's like, when you're on a ventilator, you're basically on a machine that's breathing for you. Definitely seen a lot of family members on that and that's not good. So I'm like, I don't even know how to feel about that. And then to top it all off, it is the anniversary of one of my grandmother's passing today. I was like, Sunday is not a good day today. It really isn't. It's just someone is testing my patience, my nerves, and my mental today. And I need them to chill out. 
Because, damn. Like, it's just, ugh. It's just, it, it was just like one thing after another. And it's only one o'clock. And you hate to say, like, what else could go wrong? Because then something else go wrong. So, knock on wood. But prayers and positive energy is much needed right now. So, like, oh, my God. I can't believe it's already been a year since she's been gone. It doesn't even feel like it. Okay, I need to pull myself together and take one thing at a time. I need to call this credit people. Get this speeded again because this is not me. This is not a charge I did. I don't know what the heck is going on because, like, I, I just started opening the credit cards like a year or so ago. So there's no way, like, yeah. And, uh, and the worst thing about it is that you can't even, like, get a new social security card so if someone's committing fraud on with your social security you can't even get a new social security number like once you get one that's it if you want thinking like you know if you lose your card someone's you can get another one you can't even get a new social security number so it's like i just need to go ahead and dispute this and i need to take a minute so i'll come back to y'all a little later once i pull myself together i'm okay i'm just Let me come back to y'all in a second. All right, y'all. So, sorry about that. Um, got myself together. I needed some place to relax, so I came to go get, come get my nails done. So, sorry if my lips look a little greasy. I just started eating some pizza from Brooklyn Joe's, which is really good. It's just been a day. And my friend literally just told me, like, girl, you know bad news comes in threes. I did not know that, but I guess it makes sense. If anything turmoil or anything happens, it's going to come in threes. So look forward to that. I've heard of death coming in threes, but not bad news. But I guess it does make sense. Um, so, yeah. About to get my nails done. They don't look that bad, but it's, it's time. I don't know what color I'm going to do. Maybe black, like how I'm feeling today. I'm just being dramatic. Alright, y'all. So I may be able to videotape a little bit of them doing my nails and then I'm gonna come back to Ooh, there we go. Catch y'all in a second. <laughs> well y'all, I guess bad news comes in force. So I told y'all I was gonna go inside and get my nails done. I walked in, I was like, hi, I'm coming to get an SNS feeling. He was like Mm, can you come back tomorrow? I'm thinking he's gonna normally he'll be like, Oh, can you wait like 20 minutes? So he said, Come back tomorrow. I said, Tomorrow, he was like, Yes, I only have three people working today, so our, right now they're only doing pedicures. I'm like, Never mind, it's okay. I just laughed and then came into the car, and I'm just like, <laughs> At this point, this day is just determined to suck. I'm just, it, it, you can't do nothing but laugh at it. Cause it's like, you don't want to cry. Your eyes are going to get puffy and I'm still crying. And <laughs> I, I don't even have nothing to say. I don't even know what to say. I just wanted to get my nails done and relax. And then I, come I know y'all probably like, just go to another nail salon, but I really like that one. They do a great job every since single time I go. Their prices are reasonable and yeah, and whatever. So I just took my stuff to Plato's Closet. Um, I have to come back tomorrow for that because they're like, those won't be done until tomorrow. I'm like, oh. So now I might need to do some retail therapy, but it seems very packed outside right now. So we gonna see if I can find a parking spot. Who knows? I mean, this day is going, and then 
this motorcycle in front of me is going so fucking slow. Oh, so damn slow. Woo! I need a good like massage, massage. Like seriously. Let me see if I can get in this parallel spot. Thing is falling from the sky. Hold on, y'all. Let me concentrate on put a little parking. to get out the car go into one of my boutiques that i like going to and buy a couple things we gonna see in a second be right back hey y'all so these vlogs lately of mine have just not been that i don't know happy but i'm better you know, I was just like, you know what? I can't do nothing about it now. I'll just have to call and try to figure out something. I ran some errands, took care of some things I didn't take care of, so that's good. And then, to make it better, my mom made wrapping cheese. I definitely made me feel better. So you know what? They started off crappy, but ended a little bit better. With some good mac and cheese so i'm about to eat i promise you my videos will get a lot more better and a lot more happier i do have a lot of stuff planned for this channel and a lot of things i've been trying to design and come up with i'm thinking about starting like a little brunch series with my friend him and i love going to brunch and i we would i thought we were gonna get sick of it but we we don't now, granted, we got to start going to more places. And lately in Atlanta, so many new brunch places have popped up. So I've literally been making a list of where I want to go. So we and him and probably some friends every now and then are going to go and judge these brunch places on, like, different categories. But you guys are going to see. But that's what I've been trying to come up with. So if you guys can think of any names I can call that segment, let me know in the comments. Because I might use it. I really like it. But let me finish eating. I'll catch y'all in the next video of APTV. Upload here every Thursday. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch y'all next Thursday.